Hello everybody, my name is Provis and welcome back to more Crusader Kings 3, playing as King Thomas of England, since uh, Richard did die of his disease, finally. Um, a rather tumultuous reign, it seems like a lot of my vassals are kind of reorganizing themselves against my will right now, which worries me greatly, but... If we can build up our levy again a little bit, you know, maybe get them back in line, that'd be great. I mean, I lost a lot of troops in my fight against the HRE to take back some territory over here. And then it's immediately getting into a little civil war as the Duke of Flanders tries to take over this territory, so that's a little awkward. Who's occupying this? I don't know. Some, something's going on over here. I swear to God, if you lose another territory, I'm gonna get real peeved. Real stinking peeved. Alright, we can ransom somebody. Yeah, go ahead and give me the money. Um, so do we want to fabricate a claim? Well, we can't go to war against... We can go to war against uh, France. Somebody other than the king is the one who I was fighting earlier. So we could declare this war. Um, there's territory over here I could take. You are vastly inferior. You have 800 soldiers. Oh my god. Well, the problem with taking my du jour territory is that it is uh, not a part of the kingdom... Is it a part? No. It's a part of the Kingdom of Brittany. I didn't even know that Brittany was technically a kingdom title. But it's not part of France itself, which is what I really want. We could try to fabricate a claim. There's a chance of getting a claim on an entire duchy, which would be amazing. So we could try once again to get back on Beaumont. Which is where I wanted it to get a claim the first time. By the way, what happened to like, the, little, the little schemes in the bottom right and the latest patch are gone? And it was very nice having that before. It gave me a good idea what was going on. It's going to take 19 months for me to fabricate a claim there. We could just go ahead and just take the easy fight and just consolidate my duchy in Brittany. It's a duchy kingdom. That's so bizarre. Yeah, we could just take this territory back. He's vastly inferior. It's an easy fight. And I would like to get another county under my control. So let's do that. We're going to cost us uh, some more of our prestige, of course, but that's fine. Um, we may not have a lot of levy, but we don't need a lot of levy. We're just going to go ahead and bring our troops over this way and raise the armies and get ready for a fight. This should be pretty easy. A charmed vassal. Ah, that's quite a nice cat you have there. Thank you, Mayor Joffrey. If only you were relevant in any way. You're just a mayor. I don't care. Let's go siege down the top holding here in Nantes. Uh, France is fighting against somebody else. There's some sort of an internal scuffle going on right now. That actually is something I should be concerned about. If uh, the King of France loses and someone else takes the throne, which we've seen happen before, he just lost his war, uh, could we possibly be facing somebody a lot stronger? Well, he did just get a lot of his levy back, so I'm guessing his vassals are back under control. But he's still not nearly strong enough to be a threat to me, so we're okay. A blossoming friendship with my cousin and a vassal, Earl Walter of Oxfordshire. He becomes a friend. Having friends is generally speaking a good thing. Can't be unhappy about that. Ransom Countess Denise. Yes, let's do that. Can imprison criminals. Lots of fornicators. Don't really care about any of that. Can fight against Wales. And can fight against Ireland. Not worried about that right now. Powerful vassals. Yes, I'm sure you do want that, but I can't give it to you right now. We just need to hold on long enough that we can come of age and I can finally open up the floodgates to do a lot of stuff. My martial skill is not that great despite the fact that we should be getting a martial education right now, but at least we're going to have reasonably good stewardship and diplomacy skill. That's all helpful. Alright, well, let's just keep moving. Anger management. My acquaintance is getting on my nerves. She prattles on and on. I could teach her a lesson and she becomes a victim. Or I could become stressed out. I'll just teach her a lesson and maybe I get become a bully, but... Maybe I get some skills out of it, too. I don't know. All right, top holding in Nantes is gone. A queen has arrived as a guest. May I please point out, the queen of France, who I'm at war with, right? It doesn't show me right here, but I am at war with France specifically, right? Yes. Your wife just came to my court. Recruit to court. What? <laughs> okay. Well, she's got a claim to the Duchy of Burgundy over here. 
which is a part of the Kingdom of France. Um, how the frick does this work? She's not... Uh, I don't understand. She's not a vassal to her husband, the king. I'm gonna recruit her to court. Um, now I'm her liege. That's awkward and weird, but the thing is, what I just did is possibly paid a lot of money to get somebody that in the future I can press a claim against with France and get a, uh, a new duke vassal and take an entire duchy away from France in one war instead of this county by county nonsense, which is what we've been doing up to this point. Which does mean we'll be able to seize the Kingdom of France a heck of a lot sooner, so we can do that. What is going on though? That's just weird. I don't know how that happened. I'm very confused. I'm very confused. I don't know what happened. Heraldry we're still working on in order to get some additional um, partitioning laws and stuff. All that would be good. My guardian has been taken prisoner. Yeah, he was the former duke. Um, we may need to get ourselves a new guardian. Yeah. We're, we're going we're gonna to go ahead and do that. I need to find myself someone new to educate me. Somebody with a good uh, martial focus would be awesome. If not that, we could have the Queen of France nego uh, teaching me. We don't have a lot of good characters who can teach me. Anything, actually. My sister become Midas touched? I guess we could try to have my sister work on that a little bit. I guess. She's not the immediate heir, so I don't think it's necessarily likely that she'll try to have me murdered. Weird. I don't know what's going on with any of that. Hopefully my former guy gets um, released soon. Yeah, the Earl. You. You're the one that I wanted to educate me, but you're completely messed up. My cousin is trying to install someone else on the throne of Kent. There's a lot of weird factions going on here, none of which can enforce any demands against me yet. Also, my cousin wants to become the Queen of England. She's going to become a problem. Alright, we've got this. New opponent. Alright, so for some reason, no longer... Are we fighting France because so much of their land just flipped over to the HRE? They got a new emperor, Emperor Andras. Andras, whoever you are. You are strong. This is no longer the best course of action. I'm inclined to agree. This is no longer worth fighting. Um, it would have been nice to get that, but I am not interested in fighting a much, much, much stronger HRE. What the actual heck? Also, why do we still have Anjou sieged? I do not know what's going on anymore. I'm so confused. I mean, is it just me or does it feel like something got messed up? Alright, we could go and fight against uh, the Irish and try to take our territory back. We could also fight the Welsh. You I would like to fight. Who are you? Duck and Duke of Mercia? No. You, maybe. You're the Earl of a couple different places. But if we gave you enough territory, you could become the Duke of Gwynedd. So I'm kind of okay with that. So let's move my rally point. There is a raise all here option. I wonder if you can create multiple rally points and raise your armies in a lot of different spots. Certainly seems that way. Huh. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and fight Wales. Wales, at the very least, is weak. Declare war, we can't because it would cost me way too much prestige. Holy crud, dude. Oh good, my Archbishop does endorse me now. That's good. Um, we need a new steward. There are not very good ones available at the moment. I think we'll go ahead and take the Duke of Cornwall. He's not a powerful vassal exactly, but he'll do. So we have a better Archbishop, it looks like. Yeah, seems like a better Archbishop than before. 
What the heck happened down here? The HRE, dude. I thought you guys were gonna explode. You're strong as ever. I'm finally of age. Oh my god. Okay. We are now a tough soldier. It's not what I wanted, but there weren't any better options. We're reckless, too. Stubborn, impatient, trusting. I lost the just trait. I'm reckless, aggressive, and a tough soldier. This character is lacking in a lot of things, I think. Um, we could go for the martial focus, and I think we will. We could go for a raw strategy focus, and I think I will. I need more martial skill. Um, Leinster up over here. I can declare war for you and try to get this claim back, but again, too much prestige. We need money. We can call a hunt, and we will, because I would like to get some prestige back by killing something. I am now the head of the English culture. Good. A rude vassal. A Duke of Normandy, I can, I can, I can belt him? That doesn't seem appropriate. Mediator for five years, diplomacy skill. Yeah, I think we do that. It's no way for a Duke to act. The Duke's gonna dislike me, but oh well. My reckless vassal is creeping through the farmlands ahead of me. A guy who I really don't like. Let's kill him. What a shame we're not gonna we're not gonna see him before we kill him. Ah, let's see. He stumbles out of the farmlands clutching a bleeding arm. I look up for my goblin and produce a very realistic gasp. Who never learned that it is an animal we aim for, he shouts as he gets near. Let's see. He becomes wounded. All participants who dislike Osborne uh, are gonna like me. I do believe I just saw Ragnold just leave just behind you. A knight. An evil adventurer knight. We can frame somebody else. Well, making him dislike me doesn't matter too much. The question is how many people dislike him. I think I'm just gonna bl I'm just gonna say don't blame me for your stupidity. He's wounded. We didn't manage to kill him, but oh well. All right, we have a claim down in France. We can use in the future. I do gain some needed prestige, so that's good. I still will eventually be able. What happens to his wife? You have claims still. But I can't declare the claims on your behalf. Let me guess. It's because um, you're married to this guy? Is that it? You're not allowed to if you're married? Well, how strong is your claim? Oppressed claim. Well, we can go and conquer something, I suppose. From... France, but I almost certainly will lose a lot of money in the process. What is going on over here now? Oh my gosh, there's more crap happening up in Northern Ireland. It's getting so freaking confusing. <sighs> Lower crown authority. There's a lot of people who want to do these things that I don't like. Okay. What are my most powerful vassals? Mercia. I need to sway you. There's a good chance we'll be able to sway you on my side. I need you to like me. We need these vassals to stay out of all of these factions. Gift giver. Thank you, my little uh, Kit Kat, for giving me two gold. Okay. No, that's great. Um, all right. So we have a little cash now. I think we do go to war against France. He doesn't have any allies. It's an easy war for me. Doesn't cost me quite as much. Move the rally point over here. We're going to raise our armies. I got 7,000 now, so we're a lot stronger than we were. I should easily be able to take the capital province here. And we'll start pushing over toward the Ile de France. What I'm hoping is that when Hughes dies and the heir comes in, maybe we'll be able to use her press claim there. Or maybe... Now, how... I don't know. I don't know, I don't know how this is all at all going to work. There's a scheme at court. Somebody wants to kill my guest. Well, that's fine. I shouldn't have wasted the money on getting the Queen of France. That's what it's turning out to be. I wasn't sure how the mechanics were going to work there, and it turns out it's a little weird. All right, some people are willing to give me a little bit of money. Hmm. An act of tyranny? I don't think so. We can gain prestige and make everyone like me, though. 
I think I'll take the money because I need to be able to last in this war for a few more months before I go into debt. Infiltrators. I am not going to be able to spend any money on that. Thank you, though. Additional taxes. I got 95 more gold. Well, that's fortuitous timing. Thank you. It's very good timing. Whoever this Duchess is in Kent, she's causing issues. Was she my former bully? I think I hate her, right? I'm pretty sure that I hate her. Oh, well. Alright, so we're gonna get this top holding that we wanted. Good, now let's go to the capital of France. Where's your army, by the way? I don't see the army of France anywhere. I don't know where they went. They're just kind of doing their own thing, apparently. Okay. Oh, there they are. How strong is the... What? The Emperor is in Hungary? The Emperor is... An Arpad. The guys we were playing in the last series. The Hungarians are in control of the entire HRE. What happened? I am so confused. <laughs> oh, let's see. A secret has been revealed. Ah, that cousin I don't like doesn't believe in God. Mm. <laughs> Exposer? No, 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 no. I know the secret, and when the time comes, I will be able to, um... I will be able to blackmail you and or... I will reveal it and have an excuse to, I don't know, imprison you or something? Is it illegal to not believe in God? I mean, we got a lot of heretics in our nation already. I would love to convert some of these guys back, since so many of them are problems, but 68 years, dude. The problem is, right now, Catholicism, as a faith, has lost a lot of fervor. Because we're having way too many sinful archbishops, so it's very weak and easy to fracture. That's the problem. And until the archbishops stop being a bunch of scumbags, there's nothing I can do about it. We'll chase these guys down in the woods, I don't mind. I'm leading the fight, because apparently I'm good at that now. I really wish I could have become a brilliant strategist. We can get married! Ah, good. Alright, the inheritable traits that I was looking for. Nice. So we'll do this. Again with the achievements popping up for no reason. Wedding, celebration, lots of money or prestige? In this case, prestige. Because I can use prestige to declare more wars. It's a little hard for me to get, otherwise. <laughs> um, yeah, okay. So we're hoping that I'm going to be having some very large and intelligent children to replace Thomas in the future. Compliments. A chance at making your callous fool and your ill. Oh, that's why you're wearing these clothes. Uh, we could mention his relentless courage. He's lazy, paranoid, and wrathful. No, I'll keep it short and professional. I feel like that wouldn't work well. I feel like he wouldn't appreciate it. Nah, he wouldn't appreciate it. I'm pretty darn sure he wouldn't. <coughs> Goodness. <coughs> Do you have any troops left? You have 300. <coughs> Not a lot, then. So France is zero threat. Um, I'm honestly surprised more people aren't trying to kill them. Where'd you get these men? He just randomly got another 800. A cadet branch. Someone... You created a new branch of my house. My dynasty. That's interesting. Yeah, I don't know where France got all these men. We'll crush them all the same. 95 additional gold from the taxes. Dude, thank you. Sensitivity. Thomas, this cat has to go. My uh, queen, my wife is really upset because she has allergies. Aww. But I like him. Let's see. Lose the cat. Will not do it. She has cat sensitivity, which I think is a health penalty. Yeah. So who do I give it to? Um, A duke who likes me, preferably. Duke Walter? Yeah, we'll give it to Walter. We're gonna have to give away my cat. That makes me sad, because that was a very convenient stress reduction, but oh well. Oh good, now that I've come of age, I look a lot better. Look at that brilliant beard. Yeah. Yeah, I look real good. Alright, kill the French. Got him. 92% war score, huh? Okay. Let's go and siege down something. Um, honestly, what I'm gonna do is split the army. Because I don't see any reason to take all the attrition. And you'll go here. Let's just go and siege both of these real quick. My wife is already pregnant! Good! Here's hoping for a huge, brilliant baby. I need a really nice heir. That's what I need. Prisoners to be ransomed. Twelve of them. Okay. You can call your house member Duke of Gascony. No, I don't need to do that. My prisoner, though. I don't know how that happened. Alright, let's see. Ransom. 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 Ransom all of these people. 
I'm not sure how we captured so many of these dukes, but we did. A lot of dukes. I think when we got into Paris, we, like, literally captured a load of people. Holy crap. This is a lot of French who are going to be giving me some cash. Jeez, dude, I'll take it. Ransom accepted. Ransom accepted. Thank you, thank you. Oh, yes, here comes all the cash. Now we're up to 700. They're all accepting. <laughs> Money's no longer an issue. Turns out. Oh, my gosh. Okay, these messages are really irritating. Please go away. I know you can't see them behind me, but they're just, like, going up, 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 up all the time. Freaking heck, dude. All right, more factions. My freaking cousin is such a problem. I don't know what to do about you. All right, martial lifestyle perk. So, cast a spelly cost. Yes. Reason I want that. It's going to save me a load of prestige as I continue declaring all of these wars. We're at 100% war score. Strategical impasse. Uh, improved pillaging and defense for five years. Or it can make some people like me. Well, making my marshal like me would be a good idea. So even though we could make all of these guys get better stuff, I think I'd rather go for the straight out opinion. So we're going to go ahead and flatter that guy, even though I was probably better for this anyway. I'm at 18 Marshall. Like, this isn't a bad character. He's fairly well-rounded in a lot of important skills. I'm going to finish this siege real quick, by the way, just because I, I would like to just steal some money and stuff. Duke Ralph has left prison. I'm not sure how that happened. I can ransom you for another 50. So we will. I wish we could raid. I miss being a tribal raider. That was always fun. You could get all sorts of prestige and money and stuff and mess with people. Sometimes you could get really good traits if you're playing as a Norse. My daughter and heir. Um, well, I'm not going to name her Philippa. Marina, Lydia, Adele. I like I like Adele. We have we have a lot of ancestors that I don't know about. Um, we're going to name her Adele. Who knows? Maybe if we don't have a son, we end up having Queen Adele of England. All right, there we go. 24 more gold from that one. All right, let's enforce our demands. We're going to take this province. Thank you. I do actually have enough domain limit to deal with this, so that's fine. Let's disband the troops. So I'll hold on to this. Sure, I don't know. Maybe we decide that we want to take the Ile de France uh, duchy for ourselves. I think I am going to spend some of this money to build another barony. I do think that would make sense. Maybe in my top holding here, construct a new one, new castle? Yeah. In five years, we will have a new castle that I can control directly in my top county. Factions are getting around, but overall are still not strong enough to be a threat. We are almost done trying to sway Duke Ralph again. He's a powerful vassal, but at least he is loyal now. We have some cash. It probably would be wise to go on a pilgrimage and get some faith going. So we're going to try for this. Jerusalem's too long. The Vatican? I think we're going to go to Cologne instead. It's a shorter pilgrimage. It's a little expensive, but I think it's fine. Get that piety. I'm going hard on trying to turn this into a good character. I really want this to be a good character. All right, we're going to ignore Ralph for a little bit. I'm not going to worry about my Duchess of Kent. She's way too strong, though. How about the Duke of... Uh, I can't sway a child. All right. Duke of York? Yes. Let's sway you for a little bit. I want to continue solidifying my hold a little bit longer. Okay. So over here, uh, you're relatively good, as, as far as a duchy is concerned. A rude story. Oh, okay. We've seen this one before in the last series, where people are telling gossip about you, and they're like, Oh, no, it's some king in England. You've never heard of them. I could lose some stress. I could gain some dread. Or I could get some stress because I'm stubborn. Nah. I find that stress sometimes is good, but generally is not. I prefer to avoid it. Life without you. My cousin Duke Walter to see how the cat is doing. Oh, he must be playing somewhere. He looks everywhere but at me. Where is my cat? He killed my cat? All right, we've arrived. I gain uh, 375 of uh, the piety, as well as the trait Pilgrim. Which does more piety. And other Catholics like me better. That's great. That's actually huge. Okay, get all of this out of here, please. Thank you. Uh, okay. I'm hoping we have some more kids. Let's see. You. Oh my gosh! Adele is an intelligent giant! I asked for the intelligent giant and I got her! 
dudes, I'm, 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 I'm thinking even if we have a son, we may want to make Adele into the Queen of England. I'm just saying. The succession law? Equal succession law? Not allowed in Catholicism, but man, I wish it were. Well, maybe she will murder all of her siblings. Or, if we get a son who is also a Herculean uh, intelligent character, that's fine. But, yeah. Um, she'll be amazing if we can get her. First in line to inherit the Duke of Lancaster. This up here? I could try to murder you and inherit that way, but as things stand right now, you're wounded. Your wife's pretty darn old. I don't think you can have children. I think this will pass to me and I don't have to dirty my hands. And if that's the case, we could try pushing some claims here and just go ahead and fight. Nah, you're too strong. You're not worth it. Leinster. You're inferior, we could win this fight, but it's a lot of prestige to lose for something I don't necessarily care about. Why is this glowing all red? France, why are you glowing red? What is happening? Is something I need to know about happening? I don't know. You have a couple of alliances. No, you have truces. Nobody likes France. France is screwed, dude. I'm just terrified the HRE is going to eat all of France. And if the HRE eats all of France, what am I going to do? I mean, I can technically beat him in a one-on-one -on -one fight right now. We're one of the strongest kingdoms in the world, but... Like, yikes, dude. Alright, maybe we can fabricate another claim in France. Ile de France? Yeah, let's go ahead and start getting a claim against Paris itself. It's time. This Duchess is such an issue. If we can get a claim on Paris and then, like, one more and take that, we could possibly seize the Duchy of Valois. That would be pretty nice. There's a lot we need to do, and I would really love to get a free whole Duchy. We could ask the Pope for some money and spend some piety. I'm not using piety for anything else, so I think, yeah, we ask for a load of cash. Can we improve the county control down here? We're going to ignore Buckingham for a moment. Let's try to fix what's going on in the French territory. Yep, thank you for the money. Appreciate it. Seriously, I do. I do appreciate it. Um, criminals, a countess. Dynastic kinslayer. I mean, I really should not allow you to stand here, right? Right over here? Yeah, I think I think I'm going to be imprisoning you. You gonna raise the flag against me? Nope. Alright, Justice. Um, I want to... I can't revoke your title. Because she's not my direct vassal. I can, however, just ransom her for 50 gold. Yeah, you're a kinslayer, but at the end of the day, I'm willing to look away the other way if I get a little cash out of the arrangement. <laughs> I guess. Alright, what else do we want to be upgrading? So, we could be getting some more money if I did more field upgrades. Better harbors equals more money and development growth. London is what I would really like to be upgrading. Weapon depot? Yeah, we could upgrade... Well, we can't do that one yet. Never mind. Upgrade the mansions? Supply limit? Don't really care about supply limit, but still. Buckingham... More levy. Maybe you just want money. Yeah. Let's go ahead and upgrade the farms and fields. I could create another barony. I'm clicking on this and it wouldn't let me for a second there. 400 gold, get another baron. I won't own this one directly, but it's another direct vassal who's paying tribute to me. Yeah, honestly, building up this stuff is really good. I think we do it. And I've still got enough cash on hand, I can do some stuff if I need to. This character is turning out so far to not be bad. I really hope we get a play with Princess Adele. I'm not gonna lie. Let's make sure that we educate her. 
My counselor died. Okay. Duke Odo has been swayed. He's still a little bit peeved. We inherited Lancaster. There it is. All right, so we'll have a chance to rearrange things there a little bit. Let's change up our Chancellor. Duke Odo of York, you're one of the better options. Um, you're not as good as Baron Simon, or Simon, sorry, but we're going to go ahead and take you, just so you like me. Always important to make sure that they are happy. All right, so as far as duchies are concerned, this is all properly Lancaster. So we need a new Duke. Somebody I trust. It'd be nice if they were my own family, but if not, oh well. Um, I want money. So Joffrey wouldn't be a bad option. You, I would lose a little bit of stewardship in favor of some Marshall, and I think I would prefer that, though. So we're going to go ahead and give you this, and I'm going to make you the Duke of Lancaster. And you'll be a very loyal vassal. There we go. Okay, loyal vassals means I'm now up to 10,000 out of potential 13,000 uh, for our levy. Where? Oh, what happened down here? The Duke of Anjou must have died... Okay, we have a chance of getting another loyal duke. Let's do that. Uh, same deal, I think, but we're going to go ahead and take you this time. So we're going to give you these. I don't own the title. You'll have to get that yourself. But you can become the Earl of Sable and Maine. Yeah? And he's going to be very loyal for a while. We are suddenly sitting on a load of cash again. I think because Lancaster died... Okay, so this guy, this Earl, who is currently serving me, we could give you over, and I think we will, yeah, we should transfer him to the right person, even though he, he's ha- well, no, you know what, I can hold on to this for now. It messes up the duchy, but he's so loyal he doesn't care. Your spouse looks evil as heck, by the way. Holy crap. One-legged herbalist. Athletic. You're athletic and one-legged. That's impressive. Yeah, if you're not unhappy with me, then why bother? I might as well just enjoy the direct taxes and money. And just bypass the system. We're making 24 gold per month right now. It's not bad. We can usurp the duchy. And we've talked about doing this, and I think I will. I will gain some prestige out of the arrangement, which is well worth it. And you, Miss Lady, congratulations. You get to be the Duke of Duabarth, or whatever you call this. Which means we now have some new du jour titles against Gwynedd, which I would like to fight for instead. These are all appropriate. So yes, you are 5,000 strong, but you're still inferior to me. Who are your allies? Some pretty strong ones. Ireland and the Redshanks? Irish, basically. The Welsh and the Irish. Both of these guys. They're not going to be a major threat. And if you enforce her claims, I think she'll be happier with me. Um, yeah. We are, we are going to be uh, declaring a war on you now. Let us make sure we move the flag to the right spot. How about right over here? Let us raise up a pretty massive army to go and deal with the Welsh. There we go. All right, I got my soldiers ready. Enemy allies have joined the war. All right, that's fine. We're gonna come kill you. You're dead, son. All right, Duke Arnulf, my marshal, is leading the fight. He's pretty good, I saw him told. It's 24 score is great. You are running the wrong way. Can you escape from me? The answer is no. Come here. No, 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 no. Catch him before he gets on the boat. Got him. All right, get squished, dude. My culture has discovered communal government. Oh, finally, the English culture has discovered that. Took a while. Let's go and crush these guys if we can. Before he gets away. The good Duke, Duke Odo. Nah, I'm gonna get some free prestige. Odo should be happy with me, so we actually should change up our sway once we have the option. So he's still going this way. Can we catch you, though? For real. Dude, freaking... How fast are you? Unhealthy relations. The malady is contagious. Be wary. The diseased body of a commoner has been found. I'm over my time. Uh, okay. Someone at her court might be... <laughs> we can launch the corpse towards her? No. Study a corpse. 
Gain some learning skill. 10% chance a courtier gets the disease. I'm gonna gain some stress and gain some learning skill. I do think that that might be worthwhile. We're a curious person. That's what we are. We're a very curious person. Alright, fine. Let's go and deal with them then. If we can't catch this army, so be it. We're gonna keep crushing the Welsh, and then I will go on some sieges. But we're out of time. So thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If so, then I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Alright, let's go ahead and do it.